What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Arkansas basketball and the transfer portal. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Eric Musselman is getting active in the transfer portal, picking up some key pieces that will help Arkansas next season. Some people are even saying Eric Musselman is the king of the transfer portal. This past season, he was able to get players like Trevon Brazil, the Mitchell Twins, Ricky Council, and Jalen Graham. Arkansas struck goal game players like Trevon Brazil and Rookie Council. Trevon Brazil was having a breakout season playing at a high level. He's one of Arkansas's best defenders and a great player in transition. He would have got drafted in the 2023 NBA Draft if he didn't suffer a torn ACL. Rookie Council is a team's leading scorer with 16 points per game. Most people didn't expect him to be the leading scorer, but star freshman Nick Smith was battling injuries all season. So Ricky Council had to step up and he did a great job. So far during the offseason, Arkansas was able to get two players in the transfer portal, which were Keon Menenfield Jr. and Tremont Mark. First, let's talk about Keon Menenfield, who is a 6'1 guard who played for Washington this past season. He was named to the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. He averaged 10 points, 2.9 rebounds, 3.1 assists, and 1.1 steals per game. Washington had a bad season going 16 and 16 this season, but he shot the ball well, going 41% from the field and 33% from three. He's known to be a scorer and Arkansas needs shooters, especially with Nick Smith and Ricky Council leaving. So getting a player like Keon Menenfield should make Arkansas fans really happy. The biggest news Arkansas got was Landon Tremont Mark from Houston and the transfer portal. He is a 6'5 guard who can create off the dribble and can create for others. The biggest strength of his game is driving to the rim and his mid-range shot. He is long and athletic with a good frame, which makes him a great defender. And we all know if you want to get on the floor for Eric Musselman, you got to be able to play defense. So he should have no problem getting on the floor for Eric Musselman. Tremont Mark started all 37 games for Houston, who has a team finished with a 33-4 record. Houston was the number one seed in the NCAA tournament and made it all the way to the Sweet 16. He did well in March Madness, and the round of 32, he dropped a season-high 26 points on 9 of 17 shooting and 9 rebounds. And he followed that up, dropping 14 points and 5 rebounds in the Sweet 16. During the regular season, he scored in the double figures in 18 games, so overall, Arkansas is getting an athletic player who can play defense, score the ball, and he's reliable. He started all the games for Houston during the regular season, so you don't have to worry about him missing games. Eric Musselman will probably get a few more players in the transfer portal. He might shock us all and get a big name because some of them are still out there, like Hunter Dickinson. He's ranked as the number one player in the transfer portal right now. He's a 7-1 center at Michigan last season. He averaged 18.5 points per game and shot 56% from the field, 42% from three, and 72% from the free throw line. And he averaged nine rebounds, 1.5 assists, and one. 1.8 blocks per game. He already met with Arkansas. If any coach can pull off the unthinkable and get a top player in the transfer portal, it will be Eric Musselman. So Arkansas, be on the lookout for this because y'all might land the best player in the transfer portal this year. Plugins, what players do y'all want to see Arkansas get from the transfer portal? What are some of the biggest needs y'all think Arkansas needs this upcoming season? Drop y'all opinions in the comments. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. I got more videos on the way, so stay tuned. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.